One of the most famous Hebrew leaders was, was Abraham. Abraham was the leader who made an agreement with God and about him and his followers moving from Ur to Canaan. He was also the first known Israelite to, call, to be called a Hebrew. One test God gave Abraham to prove his loyalty was to kill his own son, Isaac, but the angel stopped him. The man who gave Abraham the name Abraham, Abram the name Abraham was God, also known as Yahweh. Moses was born in Egypt. The Pharaoh ordered that all young Hebrew males were to be executed. Moses' mom, Yochiv, to put young Moses in a basket and left him drift in the Nile River so he could escape execution. Later, Moses led the Hebrews out of Egypt and guided them for 40 years. Um, during these 40 years, Moses climbed up Mount Sinai and was given the Ten Commandments by God and came down with them. The Israelites obeyed the Ten Commandments so they could get God's blessing and protection. Moses was one of the greatest prophets and his achievements were he led the Hebrews out of Egypt. He guided them in the wilderness for 40 years, was given the Ten Commandments, and instructed the Hebrews to love God, their neighbors, families, themselves, and strangers. David was one of the most successful Hebrew leaders. He lived around the time of 1000 BCE when Israel was having war with the Philistines over the land of Canaan. Goliath, the giant warrior of the Philistines, tormented the Israelites by calling them weaklings. He also challenged them to send a warrior to fight him. David, who was a brave young child, accepted the challenge to try to defeat Goliath. To prepare to face Goliath, he gathered five smooth stones from a nearby stream and got a slingshot. During the battle, the first stone hit Goliath and killed him. Later in David's life, King Saul, who was the first king of Israel, died in a battle against the Philistines. David was then chosen to become the new king. He ruled for 40 years and was extremely successful. David established Israel as a nation and also defeated the Philistines, who were Israel's enemy for several years. He also captured the city of Jerusalem and established it as a capital city. David also carried the Ark of the Covenant, which was a gold-plated wooden chest that was thought to have contained the original Ten Commandments. After his death, his son Solomon took control of the Hebrews. Solomon became king. Solomon's father was another great leader, leader, David. Solomon had wrote these, these phrases that got him and had became very famous. There's one bad thing that Solomon had done, is that he he made that got his father very angry. He had made these large building projects that had to raise taxes that in obviously they his followers did not like him. The one major one of the most famous things he has ever done was that he had made the Temple of Jerusalem. 